Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection, does a wonderful job of reminding me just how great the three-game arc of Ezio Auditore's life story was on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, while also reminding me just how much the series has evolved and improved over the past seven years. But while the frame rate and load times in the Xbox One and PS4 compilation are a big improvement over last gen's original games, there are some baffling lighting and texture degradations throughout the trilogy. Experiencing Ezio's life from literal birth to death is every bit as exciting and emotional as it was back in 2009. Watching him grow from a brash rogue to a contemplative elder remains fantastic, but playing through Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations highlights just how much the series' gameplay has improved over the years. The horizontal and downward parkour of Black Flag and Unity made moving through their respective worlds a joy, which is something I can't say about the ample moments where I found Ezio unintentionally clinging to surfaces around Italy. The trilogy runs at 1080p at a steady 30 frames per second, which is great considering the frame rate hiccups that existed throughout the original games, but disappointing in that Ubisoft couldn't ring 60 frames out of a last gen game. At least some of that power goes toward better draw distance, which alleviates some of the pop-in issues we saw on the PS3 and 360, and load times from much less of an ordeal. But while the games generally use what appears to be the same high-res textures as the PC versions from back in the day, there are lighting and texture issues peppered throughout the collection, most notably in AC2. This makes the world feel somewhat flat. Ubisoft hasn't really improved how these games look, and certain NPC characters' faces look downright bizarre. Both of these issues pulled me out of the immersion. Like the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, the Ezio collection isn't quite complete. It bundles in all of the trilogy's single-player DLC, but strips away the multiplayer modes of Brotherhood and Revelations. That's not a huge loss, since they were always single-player focused games, but something to be aware of. The biggest issue is that I don't know who to recommend this collection for. It doesn't include enough improvements or bonus materials to coax fans of the trilogy to jump back in, and it's also hard to recommend it to newcomers of the series when later games like Black Flag and Syndicate look and play so much better. For more on all things Assassin's Creed, stick right here on IGN.